wanted to do a basically night routine with you guys so you can see kind of what my night routine looks like uh, when I come home from work. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So stay tuned if you want to see my night routine. Here we go. So I just got off work and I normally would kind of wind down. So I normally do a bath or a shower. I typically like to do a bath just because I love doing a bubble bath. So I'm going to run the water now and then I'll show you guys kind of like my skincare routine that I do and um, then we're going to cook just like a quick little meal that I get from Trader Joe's and probably watch the Warriors game tonight. <laughs> I'm a huge Warriors fan. Uh, if you guys know me, I love the Golden State Warriors basketball team. So I always try and watch them when I can. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So come join me in my nighttime routine. definitely my little stand that I have um, with all of my essentials that I use. Obviously I use Aveeno. My skin is really sensitive so I definitely will be using this after my bath. Um, it's pretty good for the most part if you have very dry skin. Definitely recommend this. And then um, this is my one of my favorite perfumes. It's the Flower Balm. Um, so my ladies if you definitely are wanting a really good perfume that can be everyday floral there we go flower bomb victor and rolf so i love this perfume it's it's pretty much my, my favorite <laughs> and then this is the ultra facial cream i definitely love to use this on my face after i've washed my my face with my skincare routine um, i'm actually out <laughs> so it's empty um so i won't use it but i it's here to remind me that i need to buy some more I love this facial cream. It's it's pricey for sure, but it's really, really good. And then I have some hand sanitizer, which I just kind of keep on hand. And then I also have this um, lotion dispenser, but I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything in it actually right now just because um, I've just kept my lotion in here for now. And then I'll just, I have like a random band-aid. And then I'll normally put my earrings in here um, afterwards. So it's kind of my little, nightstand there. When you come over here, it's, it's kind of messy, but I kind of keep it uh, in an organized mess. <laughs> Obviously my hand soap that I use. Um, then this is the mouthwash I use, the Press Pro Health Advance Multi-Protection. Um, it's, it's pretty good, but you know, it, it gets the job done. So that's what I use, brush my teeth. Then I also have a electric uh, toothbrush. I definitely love having an electric toothbrush. I think it's just, it's really nice, um, especially to travel with. Um, I still use manual sometimes, but for the most part, my electric toothbrush. And then for my toothpaste, I use the Crest 3D White and I use the Radiant Mint. So it's pretty good. I don't like to try too many different kinds just because Crest is just like kind of the best for me. But yeah, this is the toothpaste I use um, when I'm brushing my teeth. And then obviously I have like fingernail clipper hair because I'm always like clipping my nails. I like them nice and short. And obviously some floss here once I get done brushing my teeth. And then I also use this uh, Rodan and Fields products. Um, I'll definitely go through these in more um, depth and kind of show you how I use them and what the product is for. And then this is just some Vaseline <laughs> that, that I have. So that's pretty much like my nighttime setup there. Alright you guys, so I just got the shower and I put on my little 
headband that I wear when I'm kind of washing my face or putting on makeup. I kind of go to my little <laughs> Minnie Mouse kind of looking headband. But I wanted to show you guys what I used in my shower. Um, I love these two products. This Dr. Teal's foaming bath, it's with pure Epsom salt. It's the relief, it's the relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint. I really like this for my bubble baths. It definitely gives you lots of good bubbles. So if you are like me and you love your bubble baths, this is definitely a good product um, to get. And then for my body wash, Olay, of course. Um, I got the uh, avocado oil one and I like it. It, um, it smells really good. I'm definitely ready for a new scent now. I'm kind of, um, kind of getting over it, <laughs> but um, I like this one. So yeah, this is a good, this is my body wash. So. And I'm gonna put on a little bit of lotion and then we will do my skincare routine. All right, so now that I'm all pretty much good to go, I'm going to do my skincare routine. So I wanted to tell you guys kind of what I use. I use this Rodan and Fields. It is the lightning lightning product line um they actually have changed up kind of their formula um in one of the products so i don't know if i'll order this one again or get the brightening um formula uh, of this product so this is the exfoliant wash um i normally would do this a couple times a week um not every single day but a couple times a week i'll wash this on my face for about a minute and then step two is the um, skin lightening toner so I'll put this on a cotton swab and I'll just kind of dab my face with it and this helps with um, basically a toner for free face getting out all the impurities and, and things like that so I like this stuff a lot <laughs> and then step three is the skin lightening treatment so this is actually kind of what they um, discontinued and so that's why I might get the brightening treatment <laughs> So this you just use a little dab and you just kind of put it on all four corners of your face and you rub it in and it really helps with um, you know lightening uh, lightening up uh, dark spots on on your face. That's why I use it just to give it an even tone. <laughs> that's that's what I'm looking for. So yeah, and then the fourth step, which I don't have it on me, but it's it's sunscreen. So it's in the size. It's in this size and it's just sunscreen and so um, I won't obviously put that on now <laughs> but I'll normally put that on in the morning so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'll show you putting on the toner I just put a little dab on the cotton ball and I normally just try and get my forehead and really wipe around my mouth and really just all over my face and this feels so good because it really gets out the dirt and all the impurities in your face for our final step I just use literally a little tiny dab <laughs> and I'll just kind of put it around my cheeks I'll use one more little tiny dab that's literally it <laughs> I just kind of put some on the forehead and around my So yeah, that's my skincare routine. It's 
that's pretty much what I do a few times a week and then that's normally what I'll do um, in the morning sometimes and then I'll put the sunscreen on at the end. So now I'm going to brush my teeth and then we're going to go downstairs and cook our dinner and get this Warriors game going. Chipotle vegetable quesadillas. They're really good. The best way to cook them is to put them on the stove and so you can get that nice crisp on it. And then you can put it in the microwave for like two minutes um, to get the inside really warm. Um, and these are really good. I, I love these a lot. And they're from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna make these now. So this is how the quesadilla looks. It's it's frozen and I'm just gonna put pop it in the skillet. And then I'm also do just a little side of this vegetable mix um, it's it's in butter sauce and I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave just to make it quicker and yeah it's gonna be my my little dinner so a little quesadilla with some vegetables trying to be a little healthy <laughs> all right so let's let's get it cooking all ready to go these are some sauces that I have left over from Rubio's this is their white sauce and their salsa so I'm gonna put that on the side and my quesadilla here and my vegetables on the side so it's gonna be really good I'm excited about this dinner my quesadilla is going still gotta cook it up there so here are my vegetables these are really good and they come with this good butter sauce and it's just really yummy so I'm just waiting on my quesadilla it's almost ready let's flip it and see how we're looking whoop, whoop. that was not a good flip but all right you guys so I put my quesadilla in the microwave just for like a minute <laughs> just so the inside could get warm and I have my sauces here and I have my side of vegetables and now we are going to watch the game and eat Let's do it. Alright you guys, so that was my night routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more of just day in the life vlogs from me. And if you are new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to like and comment as well. Let me know if you guys are Warriors fans. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.